one. So you can see here that I am actually in the app store for, in this case, I have an iPhone. What I searched for was Power Automate, and you can see that almost all of the Microsoft tools do have some type of mobile application. In this case, the Power Automate one here, you can see that I've downloaded it already. I would highly recommend that you download it yourself. And we have a bunch of different areas where we can interact and kind of see the different things from flows, prior flows, approvals, buttons to trigger said flows. There's a lot of different options here, especially for personal use cases. So I'm gonna switch over to Power Automate. And now you can see that there's a few different sections here. So this first one is activity and the feed that I have coming through. And so what I'm gonna do is go to browse and this is that same screen, except now I'm looking at it from, as in it's the templates that I can trigger here directly from my phone. And so if I look, I can see get today's weather forecast for my current location right here in the middle. That's the one I wanna go with. And then I can use this template directly here. So it'll take a second. You can see that it starts to pull up. But what's awesome about this and why I wanted to do this from my phone is that this isn't just a screen that we're looking at. This is actually Power Automate as a editable flow that I can change right here. So even though it does look a little different, it can certainly become complex to try and work on a flow from your phone. You can see that still I can access this. I can change any of these values. Microsoft was nice enough to do a condition here. So if it's United States, let's do the metric or non-metric and then if it's not non united states then or if it isn't from the united states then it uses the metric system for it so i could add new steps i could add more logic here again my goal isn't to make this complicated i just want us to get up to speed with some of these examples so i'm going to say let's just call this something simple oops i fell and get today's weather i'm going to create and so now you can see that I have my button here, get today's weather. I can share this. I could do some more additional work on this as I need to. For now, I'm just going to go back to manage flow and come over to just the buttons I have down below. And so why these are called buttons, and that's where if you notice the instant is that button, manual trigger button, that is because it supports this functionality here in the Power Automate mobile app. So. I can see another example of the get today's weather one I created before, but I can see this one here on the left, bottom left, that that's the new one I just created. So if I go ahead and click that, you'll see that it provides this little UI and boom, I get a notification of high of 80 degrees and low of 63 degrees with 0% rain. If I go to activity, you can even see here this first one that it is the get today's weather and it's even providing the last notification that it sent me. So this notification action that it utilizes is sending notifications through the Power Automate app. And so that's why if you did want to use that notification mechanism to say send the pop-ups through to people's phones, you need to make sure that they have the Power Automate mobile app so that that will come through. All right, so those are the three personal templates that I think are incredibly valuable for individuals to understand. Again, really because we want to start simple with some of these examples of Power Automate flows. Make sure that you're understanding the core pieces of how they work and interrelate. And then we can start to make more complicated workflows as we go that hit more unique requirements. But starting small is a great way to get your hands wet with some of this tooling. And then we'll start to build up as we go.